Hello, this is Dino Lopez. I'm going to show you how to create a basic Ruby on Rails application integrated with the Adobe Flex. Um, this is going to be using the data grid. Everything is going to be developed in a Windows platform. The video is going to be video 1 out of 4. We're going to start with a basic uh, Ruby on Rails applications, put some data in the basic application, phone book application, and later export the data directly into the Adobe Flex. Um, this is using the Eclipse IDE uh, with uh, the plugin for Adobe Flex. So the first thing I want to do, I want to do Rails, Phonebook, and let my Rails project be created. Also, I want to connect to the database. I want to create a database, Phonebook Development, Phonebook Test, and phone book production. Once I get my database, I also need to change to the phone book application, and right here I can see the files for my basic Ruby applications. What I'm going to do is going to do um, the Ruby script generate scaffold resource phone for the phone tables. It's going to be the name, which is going to be a string. It's going to be the phone, which is already another string that's going to be the phone number, and it's going to be the field created on, and this is going to be a date time, which is going to be populated from Rails. I can exit from my database, my files for my Rails applications are there, the scaffold generator is running, it's going to create the mi properly migration. Um, at this point, what I'm going to do is actually, I want to show you there's a little, I can do your refresh to make sure we have a little, there's a phone book application in the configuration there's a database YAML and this file what it does is actually includes the configuration for the user, password and the host. I'm gonna have to put those settings but I don't want to expose it into this video so I am just want to copy the values from here and paste it just to keep the values, just have the user and password for my application and uh, I don't have to expose it here on the web interface. I can see my script generate just finish it and what this did is basically create a migration file which in database migrate is going to create a file and I can show it real quick the migration is going to show the table's name, phone and create it on. So once that, once we have the migration file I can actually run it I can run the rake db migrate to take those settings and put into a database. And once that thing's running, actually my Rails application, my very very simple and very very basic applications will be pretty much complete. I can actually fire it up from the web server. I can see that uh, Ruby script server. I can see that this has been migrated successfully. I can fire up the web server, the web server first, and when this this case is WebRig, sometimes it can be Mongrel or something else. I go ahead and open my Firefox web browser and open it and show it real quick. As soon as the WebRig starts, it's going to start my applications on port 3000, and it should be ready to start taking my, my requests. Firefox is opening too, as we speak, and... Uh, I will show you how the basic phone book application is going to be running. I can actually go just to HTTP 127.0.0.1 on 3000 and actually this gives me my basic web application. I'm going to maximize this. There's my web applications. If I go to forward slash fonts, I can actually show you that I have the fonts. I want to create the first one, Linux Storeballs. And phone is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Don't call him, please. That's not the real phone number. I'm just proving the concept here. I'm gonna put a new phone number here, which is gonna be myself, and I'm located at two five six eight seven eight three six zero zero. Don't call either, please. It's just for showing purposes only. And I can have another one, which is gonna be probably uh, Bob 
Jones. I don't know. Seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whatever the phone number is, you have three numbers, and they're created right here. So basically, this is the web application. It's working. Rails is doing his job. No surprises, nothing fantasy, nothing out of this world. But at this point, I like to go ahead and go to the application um, controller and go to take a look to the phone's controller for a second. We want to add something for the next next part, and this something is going to be add a method. This method is going to be called, for example, list. And what this method list is going to do is going to take the similar to the index fonts. It's going to take this part and it's going to take actually the render part. Edit copy. So basically, what it's going to do is going to on the tables phone it's going to find all the resources and it's going to render into an XML when the list method is called. There's a little little catch here. What you have to do in order to make this work, you have to change the routes and this is just changing the priority only. What you can do is actually comment these and once you have it commented, go to the end of the file and put it there. So the first one is going to be this one opposite to directly to the phone. Just work with me for a little bit. There's a couple changes that we do in the routes and what is going to happen is when you go to the phone's forward slash list, you can get a nice XML version of the records that you're putting here. We have Linux, Dino, Bob Jones all together looking, looking good in an XML file. Once you have that part of the XML file, what we need to do is actually work with her directly to the Flex project. I want to launch the, fle the Flex project here. And uh, what is going to happen is everything's going to be working in an MXML uh, file. Everything's a text file. It's just going to be using the web services. If it's a little slow, please work with me because this is running out of my USB drive. I like to keep my uh, USB drive just in a mobile so I can actually take up and down and kind of just have it sticking in any um, machine. At this point it has to be running on Windows but I hope eventually we can have the plugin working nice and properly on Fedora or some kind of uh, Linux distribution. I really like to see that. But um, at this point it's loading the project it's working on and what is going to happen is going to show an XML file which is going to be the main core of the Adobe Flex development and uh, I can see here in the design mode once this shows up that uh, the GUI is going to be pretty simplistic it's going to be very very nice, it's going to be looking really good I can actually move this out of the way as you can see we have the ID, the name, the phone and created let's go to the source for a second let me maximize the source and once the, once, the, once the source code maximizes, we have something interesting here. We're creating an HTTP service, and the HTTP service is pointing to the local host phone list. Um, what happens is right here in the columns, I, have, I say the name, the phone, and credit on, and that's what creates us a GUI. This is all the definition of the text file for, uh, for the project. If I just run on play, I want to run as a flex application with that HTTP service uh, actually it's going to launch a browser and it's going to come and show very nice and very properly the records that I just add on my interface. The three records just added into the database goes to the same URL I can of course sort it by ID, I can sort it by name, I can sort it by phone, I can sort it by created on. The nice feature about this is like all the logic, all the controls all the access in your database is going to be um, based on what you see on the Ruby on Rails application. This is just the HTTP service that is going to let you give, the, give you the nice reports or the flashy look. Everything is going to be working really good. Hopefully, 
this works for you. Hopefully this gives you an idea how nice and effective can be built a web application using uh, Ruby on Rails with the front end of Flash. And the next video is going to cover the add, uh, the edit, and delete. Hope, hopefully you enjoyed. Have a great day.